Good evening agents. So as promised, I'm here with my 1.5 Alpha Bridge build uh, with dual assault rifles. It's not perfect yet, but it's pretty good so far. So let's get right into it. <clears throat> Starting with my lightweight M4, 20.7 base damage as it stands now. Talents I'm running are destructive, unforgiving, brutal, deadly, vicious, and responsive. My mods, I have 18% headshot damage, crit chance and crit damage on my suppressor. I have 13.5% stability, uh, crit chance and reload speed, or crit damage and reload speed. Uh, stability really is a must. Um, you can get away with changing this and putting a crit damage mod on if you wanted to. Um, and then use steady hands for 25% stability. Uh, completely up to you. Magazine. Uh, as I talked about before in my other videos, magazine size, crit chance, and crit damage, I think, is far superior to magazine size with crit chance and rate of fire. Uh, 850 RPM is already pretty high. To get an extra 49 or 50 RPM, to me, just isn't worth trading off crit damage or crit hit. Optics. Trifecta again. Crit chance. Headshot damage. Crit damage. Get into my gear here. Alpha bridge, alpha bridge build chest, uh, pretty nicely rolled chest, pretty high stats, high armor, uh, exotic damage resilience, ammo capacity is nice. And then I have a firearms mod with armor, and obviously another firearms mod with armor. Now my mask isn't quite as good as I'd like it to be, I'd really like the minor attribute to be enemy armor damage. Uh, that being said, this is one of my better ones, I do have another one. Um, with enemy armor damage, but it's roll for firearms right now, so I'm trying to stay a little bit tankier than that, but I can switch this off if I need to. And same thing again, I have a firearms mod with armor. Uh, the other one has a stamina mod with armor because it's roll for firearms. Knee pads. Really well rolled, 3000 armor. Uh, 1270 stamina, really high. 1253 armor, I think the max is 1263, so it's pretty close. I would prefer to uh, trade off increased kill XP for almost anything else. Bleed, uh, burn resistance, something like that, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. I do have some other ones, as you can see here. Same thing, though. This one isn't bad, it's just not rolled as high for stamina. My holster, my holster could be better, but it is pretty good. Pretty high armor, uh, nice firearms, nice stamina, a little low on the electronic side, but that's okay. And a first aid self heal mod. Gloves. Savage gloves, rolled really high. These I bought at uh, DZ6 East at East 53rd Street. I re-rolled them for higher firearms. Perfect for assault rifle, perfect for alpha bridge. Really well rolled gloves. If you don't have these, strongly recommend you go out and buy them. They're like 221,000. Bought a couple pairs. Backpack is a specialized backpack, again rolled really high, uh, decent armor on it, disrupt resistance, eh, it's okay, I'd honestly rather have burn resistance or something along those lines, but again, can't be too choosy, firearms mod with armor, and I have two secret mine damage mods because I'm still running secret mines for bleed when I was using predator, and for crowd control. The other thing I can do sometimes is I'll switch up for this one, as you can see, it makes me a lot more tanky. Uh, one's rolled for firearms, the other one's rolled for stamina. I like to have one of each just in case, you know, I want to run in and get a supply drop and I'm doing it by myself. I can kind of run in there and absorb a lot of damage. Go to my character stats. Weapon damage. Crit chance, pretty high for an AR, 32%. Uh, crit damage isn't bad, but like I said, I can increase that by giving up some stability. So I can go from 72 to around 87, 88. Uh, it's really... You know, depends on the mood I'm in. Lots of headshot damage. Go down to my toughness. 180,000 health, pretty good. Armor mitigation isn't bad at all, 54.32. Uh, almost 13,000 armor. That's pretty high, all around pretty high. And we'll go into my talents here. I'm using booster shot, 15% uh, increased health and uh, damage. Great thing to have. A lot of people still run overheal, I don't find it necessary. Seeker mines are doing just a hair under 40,000 each with cluster mine, then you multiply that by five. My talents I'm running, critical save, 
shrapnel for bleed for the uh, seeker mines, precision for pulse when I make a headshot. Uh, like I said, I will switch that off sometimes for steady hands if I increase the crit damage. And then on the move. On the move, in my, in my opinion, is still absolutely vital. Uh, you can't stay in cover too long in this game unless you're sniping. The NPCs are a lot smarter than they used to be. They will flank around you and they will kill you if you stay there. Anyway, that's, uh, that's kind of summing up my build real quick. I just wanted to have a look at it, see what you think. Oh, I guess I'll go over my pistol real quick. Uh, 93R burst pistol, expert and harmful if I want to put bleed on someone or an NPC right away. Really a great thing to have. And that sums it up. So it's just a quick video for my Alpha Bridge. I do plan on improving this. I need to farm a little more. I've been farming a lot for Barrett's chest. Unfortunately, I haven't managed to get it. Uh, when I do get it, I'll either switch it off and put Barrett's chest on, or I'll put a Reckless chest on and probably get about 3,000 more base damage from doing that. But as it stands now, this is hitting pretty hard, uh, and hopefully I'll have a video with some gameplay to show you. So until that time, agents, have a great night, and I'll see you in the DZ. Good evening, agents. Uh, as a follow-up in part two to my Alpha Bridge build, I thought I'd do a quick uh, little gameplay and take out the Bullet King just so you can see how everything's working together. So without much more ado, let's go. And as you can see, melt right through the Bullet King and his armor thanks to Destructive. So hopefully that gives you somewhat of an idea of what the Alpha Bridge build can do. And like I said, it will improve. But for now, this is what we got to deal with. Thanks a lot. That was part two to my Alpha Bridge build. Hope you have a great night. See you in the Dark Zone.